I am under the belief that Solana's price is about to make an extremely crucial decision on whether or not it's going to be able to make a beautiful move to the upside. And so in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can be preparing for it, what to look for, and much more. So let's not waste any more time at all, and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we talk about what that decision is going to be, let's talk about how we got here. You know, two videos ago, I was telling you that I was going to be buying on this level of support here. I told you all that the $165 to $170 level served as the 1.618 Fibonacci extension from a previous point of resistance and I thought that this key level of support could hold and push the price back up towards $190 and that's exactly what happened. Now once we hit $190 I told you guys in the follow-up video that I was a little bit skeptical of what was going on and that there was a chance that we saw Solana's price get forced back down towards some of these key points of support maybe as low as $165 again. Now in that video I did give you two options. I said option number one was that its price was going to break the 786 level. At this point I would open up a beautiful big long trade expecting a push to upwards of what could have been 210 to 225 dollars but i said if this doesn't happen and we do get rejected be on the lookout for a return to 165 to 170 and at that given point i would give you give you an update on what to do and that's exactly what this video is so the update right now is that Solana is about to make an important decision. Now that important decision is basically going to be based around whether or not it's going to break massive support or massive resistance and it's literally just that easy. What you can see is that Solana's price has now entered into what many people call triangular structure, descending structure, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter to me, but just know that this is very important. You have a massive level of resistance sitting right above its head that has been developing over the last couple days and you have a very important level of support that's been also developing over the last week till week and a half. And I'm under the belief that whatever direction Solana breaks out from, whether it's to the upside or whether it's to the downside, is the direction that it's likely going to go in for at least another couple days or maybe even upwards to another couple weeks. Currently speaking, what I would say is that it seems more likely that Solana would get to the, the break to the upside. And the reason I say that is because it does have this double establishment of support. It is putting in what many could be considered, you know, could consider some type of double bottom. You know, we are at the top of a macro trend, so crawling this a double bottom isn't really the smartest thing in my opinion, but it does serve as some type of double establishment of support at the same level of liquidity, which is important to see, especially considering we also have this establishment of support right here as well. On top of that, we can see that our dollar cost average signal, which was developed by my company, and the link is down in the description below, has been going off like crazy every time we get to the bottom side of the support, which basically says, hey, this is a good time to buy, a good time to buy, a good time to buy. You guys know I do most of my investing based off of HD Algo, which is this indicator, because we built it ourselves. We know what goes into it, we know it works, and we back tested it for over a year to show and prove that it works. And as you can see here, again, it's given us these moments before Solana's price has making these huge rallies. And so because of that, I do think that it could continue similar to like what we saw back here by the way there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you do want to use it for 29 days and then decide if you want to keep it and also you can get it for 20 percent off right now with the link down in the description below but that's beyond the point the point here being again that we are establishing the support here we have a double establishment of support and we have indicators flashing to show that there is a lot of bullish liquidity at this point so because of that i am under the belief that solano will eventually work its way back above this key point of resistance but obviously that's just me purely guessing of what's going to happen up until the point that it does happen but what i like to do here on the channel is i don't really care if i'm right i don't care if i say it's going to go up and it goes down i don't care if i say it's going to go down and it goes up the reason being is because i always prepare you for either option and that's why we win so consistently on the channel i don't have an ego and i don't say like i want to be right so i'm just going to go you know determinant on one specific outcome i'd rather give you all the outcomes and prepare you for either one so we really can't lose okay so let's do that Operation or not operation option number one is that Solana breaks the upside if this is the case I'm looking at it as a two-step process pretty simple pretty easy Step number one is that if it breaks this descending level of resistance and it gets some type of successful back test Or it just holds outside of here for a couple hours. I am gonna do purchase number one. That's step one Okay, the reason being is because it just cleared a macro level of resistance or not necessarily a macro because it's only a couple days But rather important level of resistance. Okay, number one number two is I'm gonna be looking for Solana's price to break back above this previous price of resistance up here the reason being is because even if it does break out here it's still setting lower highs so at the end of the day it's really not changing the trend and until we're able to clear this previous high currently around 195 let's just call it 200 dollars we can't really say that the trend has changed and that momentum is switched whatsoever and so that's the point in which i am going to be doing the bigger buy so it's a two-step system system number one is i'm going to buy a little bit if we break out system number two is that i'm going to buy a lot more once we're able to actually go in and show that we can set the higher high on a more mid to macro time frame 
as you can see by us clearing $200 roughly. And that's the way I'm going to play it. I think at that given point, the door would then be open to a move to 225 bucks over the next couple of weeks or months. And obviously, I would want to take advantage of those gains. Now, under the sick, you know, the sick, <laughs> the circumstances, the circumstances or the situation in which we do see Solana's price pulling to the downside out through the bottom side of this ascending level of support, I am going to be buying like a madman. At that given point, we're going to be very overextended. We're going to start getting a lot, a lot, a lot of bulls stepping in towards these lower levels. And I don't know how long we would be able to hold going down like this, especially if we lose something like 150 bucks. And so because of that, I'm just going to be doing a lot of buying on Solana. A lot more than I would if it does this. Like, say, for example, if these circles are the size of buys, this is what it would look like, okay? Little bit of a buy right here. We clear this level up here. Much bigger buy. But if Solana's price breaks to the downside, I'm going to be doing much bigger buys down here. The lower it goes, the bigger the buys are going to get. Because at that given point, I do believe we're going to go in to set this macro high or low and then really look for a continuation at some given point. And I want to continue to average cost in. I want to be honest, my average cost is $28.90 on one of my portfolios and about $31 on my second portfolio. And so personally, I'm not doing the biggest buys I possibly can imagine, but these still are going to be substantial buys. And that's because, again, I still believe Solana can go to $400, $500, $600 one day. And so with that in mind, I just wanted to kind of update you on my strategy and the structure that I'm looking at it here in the sense that I'm either going to be doing a little bit of buying soon or I'm going to be doing a lot of buying soon. But one way or another, I am still in accumulation mode. I still do think that it's a good time to buy. Although there are better opportunities out there in terms of gains, I still do like my chances with Solana and I do like the pullback and the cool down we're getting right now. So I will continue to update you as it does play out. So with that in mind, of course, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I can't wait to see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.